hi welcome now I'm going to show you how to bring uh, space delimited text file data into a pivot table okay so what I'm going to do is I have a text file here called space delimited okay it got uh, uh, month sales and expenses each month what is the sales and expense okay so I'm going to bring this file into the Excel sheet and create a pivot table on that okay usually we can uh, if you you have a ms access database or a sql server database or and so on you can straight away use the pivot table uh, on the data using the use an external source okay if you choose a selection people tend to use the same thing for the text text files okay whether it's a comma delimited semicolon or space or whatever and fix with browse the file and uh, do the connection but unfortunately this one won't uh, uh, work because uh, finally it is it will show you that uh, this type of connection cannot be used to create a pivot table okay Th that message okay so it won't create a pivot table on any text files so what you need to do is we have a workaround to go to the data get external data okay from there you can create a pivot table on text files okay go to data then go to from text in the from test i'm going to open the space delimited okay in space delimited file what we have here is that de delimited file okay choose the type uh, type is a delimited uh, space delimited file then from uh, which row you want to import i want to import from the first row okay you want in the middle you can put wi from which row you want to import uh, and uh, my data as the headers the header is month sales and expenses okay then next move next so i'm uh, uncheck the delimited tab and uh, check the space once i check the space what happens is uh, here you can see month sales and expense the header is fine but the data is not correct because the jan space 2018 must come into the month field and not uh, jan is one field and uh, 2018 is the next field so this case comes that because uh, the in the text file you have a column value itself is a space okay you don't want this one to be considered as a delimiter you want this one as a text okay how can we rectify this for that uh, excel has given in the vision there is something called text qualifier text qualifier means it will tell you whether um, yeah, yeah, a particular uh, delimiter for example in this case space okay the character has to be a delimiter or a uh, simple text in the column okay so this space cannot be considered as a delimiter it has to be a simple column so what we need to do is that we need to go back to the file and put a text qualifier for those fields which has the text in between so our delimiters uh, our text qualifiers are double quote and single quote so i'm using a double quote i put a double quote here and uh, I must enclose the field uh, with the double quotes this way I must make sure this space is not considered as a delimiter instead it will be considered as a in between uh, text okay so I what I did I just uh, uh, made uh, the same thing in the space delimited uh, text qualified file you can see the file as uh, the column all the month column month is enclosed by the text qualifier which is double quotation okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to use this file and show you how to proceed okay so I cancel this go to data again from text okay space delimiter text qualified now the same thing here and uh, uncheck the tab delimiter is a space now this time it will just ignore the space between the text qualifier okay it won't it didn't consider it don't it doesn't consider the space as a delimiter okay so you can see then press 
next and uh, make this one as a text because month is a text field and uh, the these two fields are uh, numeric values are there it has to be considered as a numeric so you just make this one general okay so general converts numeric to uh, numbers and date date fields to dates uh, okay uh, date values to date but the remaining to text okay press te next uh, or finish okay then it will show you the import data select how you want to view this data in your workbook you have only one option which is table okay if it is other database files ms access database files and other connection you can also create a pivot table directly on that okay then uh, where do you want to put the data i want to put it in the in the existing voice sheet then uh, do you want to add this to data model no not okay press ok once you make this one coming here as a source data now you can able to create a pivot table on this data okay so what i'm going to do is this is our source data okay so now i'm going to create a uh, pivot table on this data okay this is our my source data i'm going to insert a pivot table okay now insert pivot table I already selected the source data so it is popping up with the same default value select the table or range for the data that you uh, we want to analyze uh, it's already selected this is the range this is so source data where do you want to put the pivot table report to be in the next uh, new worksheet uh, I just press ok it shows uh, two things one is pivot table report area the other one is pivot tables field span in this field span you can select whichever table you want whichever uh, field you want to select f in the pivot table these three are the fields in the source data you can see in the month sales and expense okay so what i am do i'm doing is that uh, i just uh, get the month and the sales okay this has to be month and uh, this is the s not sum of sales maybe you just put the sales okay the field name is already there so you ca you have to put um, okay sales maybe a space okay similarly this one is the expense okay once you do this one wha we have created the pivot table on the source data which already we imported from the text file okay this is the text file okay now there comes a thing a problem that uh, okay you you must understand here that this pivot table depends on this data okay not the text file anymore okay so it depends on the data in the workbook not in the uh, text file okay so what i'm going to do is i have this file and i just make uh, this uh, uh, 1900 as thousand uh, okay 190 as 1900 and save the file okay now i will come here and i just want this one uh, i want 1900 the updated version but when i refresh the pivot table but it still s stays the 190 Be why because it depends on this data this data is depend it, it, it just has um, 190 not the 1900 okay in these cases how can i work on that okay how can i refresh the table from the text file okay so it it is actually it it is uh, it depends on the data in the worksheet that's the problem so now we have uh, 
uh, we have two two ways uh, two pro uh, two way process to get the data from the text file what we need to do is we need to refresh the data first then you will refresh the pivot table okay how can i refresh the data right click go to data in the data right click somewhere some some value just click then right click refresh once you refresh it pop up with the uh, which file you want to use it for this data which is the same file what we had but that file is updated already so once you double click that one open automatically it brought that 1900 into the data okay now what you can uh, now the f the data is refreshed so what you can do is now you can refresh the pivot table you can see the data is refresh here okay so this is the way you can refresh the data and bring the data from the text file you have some other problem that every month you got uh, different different uh, files that one also it's not a problem you can keep one pivot table you can bring the data from the other uh, text files as long as the format is same for example this file i have uh, the month now it is in the may file okay so the previous uh, pivot table can i able to use it you can able to use it w how can you do you must go to the okay the may file i want to put uh, some 98 okay instead of 800 uh, let it be 700 for january okay okay now what i am going to i'm doing is that uh, i'm going to bring uh, a new file data because you may be receiving a file from different departments so you want to update the pivot table for every week or every month okay periodically so what i am going to do i just uh, refresh the data here when I refresh the data, it draws for the file name. At that time, I am going to select a new file name. Space delimited, text qualified, may. I import. Now, this data is changed, 798. Now, go to the pivot table and uh, refresh the pivot table. January 798. This way, you can bring every month changing data into a pivot table. Okay. So, this uh, I hope... Uh, this uh, this example helps you to bring your uh, space limited uh, text files into a pivot table and refresh it periodically or uh, get the updated data okay only thing you need to remember is that uh, you must refresh the data of us before you refresh the pivot table that is one secondly you cannot use uh, insert pivot tables uh, choose external connection instead you must bring the data using data get external data okay and from text hope uh, this video is helpful to you and um, uh, if you have any comments and suggestions please uh, state it there in the comments and also please uh, press alan sam's uh, uh, subscribe button now and subscribe to my channel and god bless you